Hi, I'm Sam Mitchell from the University of Bristol. Vaporphase cristobalite is a metastable silica polymorph commonly found in silicic lava domes, especially where there is an active hydrothermal system. These crystals are currently thought to form from silica precipitation from silicic rich fluids inside lava domes. These silica rich fluids come from the dissolution of volcanic glass by acidic halogen bearing vapours such as HCl and HF. While these crystals are commonly observed in dacite and rhyolite domes, the temperature, kinetics and cooling rates related to growth are relatively understudied. In this study, we analyse a suite of samples from a submarine rhyolite lava dome, with samples taken from the in-situ carapace and talus at the base of the dome flanks. By looking at differences in volume proportion, crystal size distribution and number density of cristobalite crystals between the carapace and the flanks, we can begin to assess spatial differences in crystal growth kinetics. Samples from the carapace directly above the vent have numerous large cristobalite crystals with characteristic fracturing, and the remnant ground mass is almost entirely void of glass as a result of dissolution. These textures are some of the most extreme we've observed in comparison to subaerial samples. In the samples from the talus, cristobalite are few, very small, and contained within isolated vesicles, with very little ground mass glass dissolution. In recognising that this is a submarine lava dome, further work will use numerical models to constrain differences in temperature and cooling rates between subaerial and submarine lava domes to see how the crystal textures may reflect differences in cooling conditions. You can observe this talk in more detail on the uploaded talk on the VMSG YouTube page.